Let's get a closer look at the market action now with Michelle Schneider, Director of Trading and Education at the Market Gauge Group. It's election day, Mish. What's your trader talk for us? Well, there's certainly other things to get through besides the elections because we still have PCE coming up and this is on the heels of the fourth in a row Fed hike and a declining dollar. So you can see there's a bit of a soup out there. But in terms of the elections itself, it may take a couple of days to really see who won because there'll be a lot of absentee ballots to count, not to mention the fact that what we hope for is no contention on terms of any of the results because that would shake the market. So let's assume historically, that we get maintain, obviously, the Democratic president, but a Republican House. In the past, that has been relatively positive for the market because gridlock turns out to be a good thing. What's your trade of the day? Well, we've actually been very heavy into the metals. Uh, Last week, we saw a huge pop in gold, silver, copper, natural gas is flying again. So it really does seem to me that with the weaker dollar, which initially is good for equities, it also happens to be really good for the metals. And so we're maintaining that, but we have our eye obviously on what happens with the dollar. We have our eye on what happens with the long bonds and also with the junk bonds. But right now we're still sort of a neutral in terms of the risk. So we're not loading up in equities just yet. Sometimes you have to just sit back and watch it all unfold. Thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.